Here's a first look at the Shimano R7000 105 crankset. It's interesting to note that Shimano calls it a front chain wheel. For this chain set or crank set, I went ahead with a 165 millimeters compact crank set 5034 in black color. On the sides of the box, there's not too much. And on the bottom, nothing too important. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. As I opened it up immediately, it looks like you get some information on paper. And let's take a look. Oh, there's the left crank arm. And underneath that, it looks like the 105 crank set. Also inside the box is this plug. Now this is the cap actually on that goes for the left side and it covers this section right here. And it looks like inside this box that is it. Now if you need a bottom bracket for this, I believe the Dura Ace and the Altegras and also the 105s are all compatible as long as they have a 24 millimeter spindle and it is rated for a Shimano road crank set. And don't get this confused with mountain bike crank sets because they're typically a little longer. The spindle here for a mountain bike might stick out a little further. I'm exaggerating but let's say it's this long. So the bottom bracket will be longer and won't fit in a road bike. Now we can briefly take a look at these instructions. And I'll glance over and see if there's anything important to note. Shimano does say to use a neutral detergent to clean the crank arms and nothing that's caustic, alkaline, or acidic because that may cause discoloration. And there's another section right here that just shows the names of the parts of the crank set. Well, this is the contents of everything included except the box and I'll go ahead and take out the crank set and place it on my white bag and take out the left crank arm and I think there's information here on the torque specs that's what it, I've seen before in the past. Sure enough in multiple languages it says use torque readings of 12 to 14 newton meters and then go ahead and check it again after 60 miles and the bolts they're referring to are on the left side right here for the crank arm so these are the ones that have to go 12 to 14 newton meters and while I'm here I guess we could take a close look I believe these are a five millimeter allen keys and this should be a 165 I never looked at it yet okay 165 uh, we could go ahead and take a close look at the crank set too. Now I can't tell just by lifting it up, but supposedly it's quite a bit heavier than the Altegra and Dura Ace crank set. So even though it's 165 and my other crank sets are 172.5, I believe this is still going to be heavier. This is the 34 by 50 chain rings, and I think I mentioned that earlier and there are a lot of hills here so I do like having lower gear options and also if you do subscribe I'm planning on making another video regarding comparing the crank sets and I'll just basically take a look at them and look at the different weights and specs regarding the crank sets of Ultegra, Durace and also this 105 so you can get an idea of what the main differences are, how they look, and of course what I'm interested in and most of you could be is the weight of the different crank sets and how much you're actually saving for spending the big bucks and getting Durace over 105 or stepping one step up to an Ultegra crank set. Now I didn't touch this here but it does look like it is pre-greased and that's the interface where the, it's going to touch the bottom bracket. And this should also be a Holotech 2 type crank, so 
other crank arms. Left crank arm should fit like Ulterior and Durace as long as they share the same Holotech 2. Okay, just had to verify that it does indeed say Holotech 2 for the left crank arm. Now there's a big reason why I did go with this 105 rather than a Durace and Ultegra. And that is because it's going to go on a secondary bike that may be ridden on gravel or may be used for cyclocross. So it is cheaper and if I wear out the rings and they get all sandy and dirty I won't be as upset if they wear out the rings a lot quicker than on a road bike. Also, I have matched this crank set, the 165, with a power meter. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this 105 crank set, stick on my power meter, and I think, bang for the buck wise, I'm better off with a 105 crank set and a power meter than the same cost if I were just to get a Dura Ace crank set or Ultegra crank set without a power meter. So the power meter was a few hundred dollars. This crank set's about 150, so I think I was better off with a 105 crank set and the power meter rather than, I guess, just the Dura Ace, because that's about 400 or so, or a little more. So my power meter here was purchased separately. It is not included with a crank set purchase, but if you buy a crank set directly from a power meter company, they may give you the entire crank set along with a power meter. One thing also to note here are the bolts here. These are proprietary Shimano size rings. Now there may be aftermarket chain rings for this. However, what I've heard from other people is that this new series, the 7000 series, is no longer compatible with the 5800 and the Ultegra 6800 series. So these crank arm bolts are slightly off, either slightly narrower or slightly wider than the Ultegra 6800 series. So this might match up with the Ultegra 8000 series, but not necessarily the 6800 or the Dura Ace 9000 series. So this series for the 105 7000, I believe, matches with the Dura Ace 9100 series in terms of their generation. As you can see here, it is listed for 11 speed, so if you have an 11 speed Ultegra or Dura Ace chain, even from an older generation, it should be compatible with this crank set. Let me rephrase that by saying if you have an 11 speed Shimano chain, then it should be compatible. There are one by systems that may not work with this crank set, so just be forewarned about that. So this crank set should fit into press fit bikes, and it should fit into a standard threaded bikes as long as the bottom bracket can handle Shimano 24 millimeter road spindles. Before I finish this, of course, it's the important part. How much does this actually weigh? Hey, what's going on here? I stick this on here and it looks like this left side only is at 514 grams. I'm going to throw on this left crank arm. Let's see where that, let's see if I can balance it on there comes out to 708 grams and of course you're gonna need the cap here and oh the caps oh an additional weight that brings it up to maybe 714 let me take it out of the bag so without the cap and then I throw this on it probably adds another about five six grams to 713 grams and since I have it here I might as well unbox the stages left crank arm 165 millimeters it's probably real easy to unbox and super quick just go like this and slide it out there we go this is the Ultegra and this is also 165 millimeters I know I'm getting a little off topic here because this is supposed to be just on the Shimano 105R 7000 unboxing but you can see yes it's a 165 this is the Gen 2 stages power meter there's I think three generations now this one comes out at 205 grams and this is supposedly the exact same length 165 for a 105 so we go from about 204 grams to 194 and that's the extra weight that we have from the sensor so it looks like it just adds 11 grams. But this, again, is an Ultegra, whereas the 
one that came with the crank sets, the 105. So not bad. I think it's well worth the extra little weight to get a power meter. Well, there you have it. These are the contents of the Shimano 105R7000 crank set. Also, feel free to subscribe. I'd like to make another video on the comparison of the 105 Ultegra and Dura Ace crank set or chain set, and I'll try to have that out in the near future. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions below in the comments section. And thank you very much for subscribing or liking if you do.